Now, we'd like to demonstrate how Security Butler actually works with a quick demo. Security Butler can be accessed through butler.sangfer.com with a username and password that will be provided to qualified partners. In the simplified dashboard on the top level, you can see basic background information, including the number of devices connected, number of logs analyzed, and any new events and security intelligence information. The second row shows advanced threats and security operations, allowing you to see what events have been processed and which need more attention. The third row includes asset security, where you can see all business assets which are predefined in NGAF with no advanced configuration required in Security Butler. In terms of assets, you can view your business systems, hosts, and users, helping you see your risk posture and threat distribution at a glance. If you see an asterisk, this means this system has suffered a ransomware attack, allowing you to trace the problem areas and view evidence of how the ransomware works. Toward the end of the dashboard is the section on threat intelligence, which gives you information on real threats affecting other organizations in your region or industry. A strong correlation tag means your organization has been attacked by this same hacker or threat before. The ability to provide proactive protection is an important part of this section. SOC analysts often need to know what has affected your system as recently as the last 24 hours or the last seven days. If you view advanced threats, you can see a list of high-level threats. In the visual diagram at the top, you can see external source attacks and their sources. On the right, you can see number of web shell, fraud infection, and bots or ransomware attacks. In these events, you will see a list of events sorted according to time of detection and severity. Let's look at a recent persistent attack. You can see that a particular IP address has been conducting an attack on our system for over three days with 39 hosts having been affected, which may result in business interruption and data leakage as well as other issues. It also describes suggested remedies or solutions. In this case, Sangfer Butler suggests that you block the IP address. Here, you can see the source of the firewall that has alerted you to the issue and the business systems impacted. This information might be available on your firewall, but this process requires log analysis and time. But with Security Butler, more detail is available at a glance. Click Details. There are two types of threat intelligence. Tactical, looking at techniques and IP or sources, and strategic, looking at who is attacking, attack methods, length of attack, and sometimes why the attack has taken place. The attacker detail information comes from Sangfer's newly released NeuralX database showing you how many other Sangfer customers have suffered attacks from this particular IP address, the methods used to conduct past attacks, and how long the attacks have typically lasted. This is a real IP address which was captured today. Now, what do we do about it? This tool allows you to block this IP address for a predetermined amount of time, allowing you to patch and secure your system. 
This area deals with advanced threats, which have already affected your system. If you choose to fix an issue, the number of fixed events will be updated accordingly. Once again, you can see external threats in the advanced threat section. Security Butler makes it quick and easy to get a 360 view of threats, hacker ability, and techniques, and the potential range of impact. Moving on, let's look at asset security. This area allows you to see the different levels of attacks to business systems, servers, hosts, and users. In this table, the assets are prioritized according to severity of attack and value of asset. Both are pre-configured within the firewall. Security Butler has unprecedented asset visibility to show internal and external threats and the state of security for the entire company. The risk model says that risk equals asset value times threat divided by countermeasures. Here, you can see severity rankings, which allows you to easily and quickly prioritize more severe items and more impacted systems. Let's take a look at what system might be compromised by ransomware. Go to Server 2, where you can see our internal IP address. You can see a summary of where outside threats have originated, a combination of logs, and the NeuralX Threat Intelligence Lookup, allowing you to further identify the duration of the attack, what techniques are being used, and where the attack originated. Here you can see this particular attack originated in China and has launched many attacks across the APAC region. This makes reporting to executives and upper-level management quick and easy to understand. Thus far, we've primarily discussed attacks you will often see on the perimeter, but you need to be prepared for internal attacks as well. Here, you can see where an internal host has reached out to a CNC server, and by clicking on Threat Intelligence, you can see more detail. For instance, in this case, there is a risk of both ransomware and mining. Let's copy this potentially dangerous URL and paste it into VirusTotal. You can see that while many security vendors have not flagged this URL, there are a few who are advising that particular attention be paid to this URL. If you investigate the host level and what IP addresses are correlated with this URL historically, we can see that yesterday was the most recent flagging of this potentially malicious URL and that it originates in the USA. Here we see other potentially risky URLs and downloaded files. This particular downloaded file has been infected by a ransomware strain belonging to the Tesla family. Having all this information readily available through Security Butler means you are able to take real-time action to quarantine threats.